Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Cori. I am a full-time working mom. I am the mother to four beautiful kids, three girls, one boy, and I am married to my high school sweetheart. We just rolled up on 17 years of marriage. So that's me in a little bit of a nutshell. If you are not new here, welcome back. Um, today's video is actually going to be a follow-up to my habits video. It has been longer than a month, but I told you guys I would follow up with you. So here I am. There are some pros and some cons. I have my list right here. We are going to go ahead and get into it in no particular order. Okay, so these were all habits that I was trying to break. So like daily habits I'm trying to break. If you haven't watched my other video, I will link it in the down bar so you guys can watch it if you want to, just so you know like what I've done good at and what I haven't done good at. Um, weird verbiage. Okay. Anyway, I'm crazy. Okay, so the first one is hitting the snooze on my alarm clock. Well, guys, <laughs> I'm kind of failing at that one. I would say that I am doing better. I'm doing better. However, I have not been consistent daily, so that is one I am still going to continue to work on. Um, and I encourage you to do the same. Okay, so number two is skipping a daily workout or like putting off exercise. So you guys will see sometime in October that I did a 50, sorry, 100 squat a day challenge. I completed that challenge and I have continued with the squats as well as doing lots of walking and just other like aerobic type dance type exercise. So I'm doing great with that one. Um, my phone. Basically, what I wanted to do with my phone was to not be on it right before I went to bed and to not be on it right when I woke up in the morning and to try and limit the amount of time that I am on my phone throughout the day. And I would say that I am doing a little bit better with that one. Still a work in progress there though. And four is basically not reacting. Um, I've, I wouldn't say that I have a bad habit of reacting, but I would say that I react before I kind of feel what is happening in my head and in my heart. And I really wanted to work on reaction. And so I would say that because I am more um, aware of it and because it's in the forefront of my mind, I have been doing better. I did kind of have a little bit of a issue a couple of days ago. I wasn't feeling very well and my family was just being super loud and I kind of reacted negatively. I did kind of pause and I apologized and I explained like, I'm just not feeling good. This is where I stand. Um, that is something that I am going to have to forever continue to work on. Um, number five, <laughs> not getting fully ready for the day. I would say that I am now 50-50. I really truly want to step up my game get ready first thing in the morning, have my teeth brushed, have my hair done, have my clothes on. That way I can feel good about myself and I can feel good about what I am doing throughout the day. So that's what I'm still working on. However, 50-50. So I'm getting a little bit better. Okay. Number six was going to bed too late. I was going to bed way too late. Completely unacceptable. <laughs> I need to start getting better sleep. I will say, um, I'm, I'm not going to bed as late as I was, but because I'm going to bed earlier, I'm waking up earlier, but then I just lay in my bed for an hour or two and then I fall back asleep. So I'm not really doing any better in that sense. So that is something that is like on the top of my priority list. So I can have, you know, a full day of success, which kind of goes hand in hand with ready on Monday. So still working on that. Um, eating out. We've been doing great. We really haven't been eating out. We've been making a lot more meals. If you guys have any suggestions for easy meals to be made on a work day for a family of six, put them down below. I would love to get your feedback. I would love to get your recipes and I would love to know what it is that you are making for your family on weekdays. Um, 
Yes, okay, so basic clean on high traffic areas daily. That is something that I have 100% picked up. My house, other than like my kids' bedrooms and my bedroom, my house looks really good. Like I could do a walkthrough with you guys and I would not be ashamed with like the living space of my house. Now my kids' bedrooms, but that's on them, right? Like they're all old enough, nine, 10, 15, and 17. They're all old enough. They can be doing that on their own, right? You feel me? <laughs> Alrighty. And then um, being in better relationship with my spouse, um, I would say that I'm definitely in better relationship with my spouse. Um, we're trying to communicate more. I'm trying not to react. Um, and we're just both aware of what it is that we want. And so I would say that over the last, you know, month or whatever, we have been doing really, really, really good. I have absolutely no complaints. Um, and I feel like with me expressing my feelings instead of reacting or just talking is making huge improvements. So I am really proud of myself, really pleased with where I have come from a couple months ago to now. Um, do, do, do. Um, okay, so the next one was a following my calendar. Guys, I have done so, so good. There have been a few days, right, in between here and there that I've struggled with, you know, getting every video filmed, getting every video edited, taking my kids to the dentist, going to my own doctor's appointments, yada, yada, yada. But I feel like that is where I have been, like, the most successful outside of my relationship with my husband and my kids. Um, but I'm following my planner. I actually recently, a month or so, got a new planner. I'm loving that planner. However, I'm not going to start using it until January 1 of 2021. So you guys will see that in some upcoming videos. I'm super excited about it. And I know for a fact, everybody's going to love the planner. So not sponsored. It won't be sponsored in January when I talk about it. However, you know, if the company ever wants to sponsor me, I wouldn't be mad. So, okay. Anyways, hmm. cursing. I would say that I'm more aware and so I'm filtering myself better. Um, but I still, you know, words slip out and I apologize if they do. But I'm okay with being a work in progress and I'm okay with not being perfect. So I would say I'm doing pretty stinking good. Okay, drinking Sprite. So no longer drinking sodas. Since my last video, I think I've had Sprite three times. I did have one drink, not even a full like can, but I had one drink of Coke. Other than that, it has been straight water. And I'm telling you guys right now, I am feeling so much better kind of eliminating those things and we will no longer be purchasing them for our house. So that's great. And spending time with naysayers. Oh geez, I have removed a good portion of people from my life and I'm going to continue to do that. I want people who are building me and people who want nothing but the best for me. And so I am putting myself in front of like-minded people, whether it's YouTube mamas, whether it's MS mommies, whether it's, you know, moms in general or anybody who has similar interests to me, I'm aligning myself with because it's important to me. I don't want people who just think that what I am doing is stupid and, um, what, I don't want them to feel like what they're doing is stupid. I want to build people, encourage people, and love on people. And so why not align myself with people who have similar dreams, similar passions, similar lifestyles, similar families, etc. You guys get what I'm saying. You know exactly what I'm saying. Um, so that's been great. I have absolutely no complaints there. Um, and then... That's weird. I said 15 habits. <laughs> However, I only wrote 14. No excuse. <laughs> no excuse. Just is. I'm I'm a hot mess, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, okay, so 
junk food. Eat less. Okay, so I have eaten less junk food. However, today I did have a pumpkin cookie, a pumpkin chocolate cookie. Um, I have eaten less junk food. I am perfectly fine with not having any candy. But chips are something that I'm obviously needing to eat in moderation, and I have been eating them in moderation. Um, typically, I would do a party-sized bag of a chip of chips in one sitting. I actually have not had chips in five days, four or five days. Um, so if you ask me, that's pretty good. Because if you know me, you know chips are like, chips and salsa are my whole life. Whole life. So if I want them, I'm incorporating them into a meal and I'm not just going to snack on them. I'd rather snack on some grapes, some fruit. Grapes and fruit are the, the same thing. Guys. <laughs> Okay, so mm. okay, veggies and fruit. You guys, you get me. I know you do. I know you get me. And I know that you love the bloops. I know that you love the dorkiness. I know that you love the sass. And so I am not editing this. currently working on and I could benefit from your way of eliminating habits put it in the down bar comments below because guys we are all here to grow and learn and I know for a fact that I can learn from each and every one of you so I would love to hear your stories I would love to hear you know what it is that you do well at what it is that you do not do well at you know let's just be in relationship with each other and learn the good, bad, and the ugly about each other because I am all about that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and have a beautiful, blessed December. Bye guys.